You're watching Carolina and Company Live. With your host, Cecil Chandler. Your source for fun entertainment and events. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It is a Wednesday. That means it's hump day. You make it through the day. You're going to make it all week, uh, all the way up to, to Friday, which is the big, big day. Coming up on the show today, we got Coastline Pet Tommy's here, and we got an eight year old wrestler that I'm going to take down before this show is over. All right, that's coming up, too. Who else we got on the show? All right, we're going to be talking about uh, a stamp show coming up. And from International Kitchen, it's Soup Day. And we're going to talk about a big fundraiser the uh, Humane Society has coming up. We've got a great show lined up today. So first off, let's find out what the weather looks like. And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. All right, I want to talk about something now. Uh, Russell's Raw Bar down in Merle's Inlet. They are having a fundraiser. This is for Herman. Herman is the main chef there, and the man can cook up some great vittles, I want to tell you. There's Herman. They're going to have a fundraiser. He lost his home and everything in it on January 21st. And uh, so they're raising money for him. Russell and Karen are putting all this together, and it's going to be Saturday. Russell's Raw Bar, in case you don't know where it is, I don't know why you don't know where it is. It's right across from the Hot Fish Club, and it's going to be from 11 until 3, barbecue, shrimp creole dinner. So go down and help out Herman. Let's see if we can't get him back in a, another house. That's tragic when you get lose everything. That's coming up Saturday, Russell's Seafood Grill, talking about a place I eat a lot, man, a whole lot. All right, here we go. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, and this is the day the music died. Of course, Buddy Holly, Richie Vallis, and the Big Bopper died in a plane crash. And uh, that was the day that I think they got Bobby V to fill in for him because he knew all of Buddy Holly's songs. And then Bobby V became a big recording star. Birthdays today, 1950, Morgan Fairchild, 66, degree, uh, 66 years old. And she's from the TV Falcon Crest, still looking good. And she's also Chandler's mother on Friends, the TV show. 1956, Nathan Lane. Now, you're talking about a funny guy. He's 60 years old. If you've never seen The Birdcage, you got to check it out. Also starred musical Guys and Dolls and has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He got it in 2006. 1982, Bridget Regan, 34, TV. She's on Legends of the Seekers, uh, Precipitation. Also in NCIS Los Angeles. All right, today in history, it was 1973. Dr. Hook's cover of Rolling Stone entered the top 40 and peaked all the way up to number six. 1979, YMCA by the Village Peak people go all the way up to number two on Billboard's Top 100. All right, here we go. From the know-it-all department, this is what everybody's waiting on. Statistics reveal that a person who sleeps too much and sits too much isn't active enough. And guess what? They're going to die four times likely than the guy that's moving around, walking, or not sleeping too much. So I'll have to cut out those seven hours sleep I get. I don't want to die early. You die four times early if you sit around and do nothing. That's from the Know It All Department today. We've got a great show lined up coming up. We're going to be talking with Tommy from Coastline and find out what's going on there. Great show today. We'll be right back. And that's what we're talking about, Coastline Pet Supply, and Tommy's with us today, and he's always got something interesting to talk about. Tommy, what are we talking about? Well, I just want to let everybody know we're going to start having some dwarf bunnies popping in uh, starting on Monday and probably every Monday after that for the next five or six weeks. Um, and I think next Monday, two, the next Monday, four or five, and then on from there. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to say, I was driving over here today thinking something's important about February. I just realized that uh, 16 years ago, on the 1st, I bought Coastline Pet Supply. You started buying it. Yeah, I bought it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm still paying You're for still it. Still paying you know, for it. Started with nothing and still have most of it. I understand. Um, but just wanted to tell everybody uh, thanks for shopping with us, and uh, it's been a it's been a it's been a long time. I didn't realize it had been starting our 17th year, so. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank my one of my old roommates from college for lending me a little money in Conway National Bank. And um, uh, I remember uh, when we first started out, I actually lived in the store probably the first four or five months. <laughs> Slept on the couch in the office and uh, kept all my underwear and socks in the file cabinet and <laughs> shirts hung up in the ceiling. And um, You had to do that to get going. Had to do that to get going. Didn't have cable, had little rabbit ears and... Uh, 
Finally got enough money to get cable, and the guy <laughs> hooked it up and says, well, I only bring it to one end of the store. So he left me about 150 feet of coax cable, and every night I'd walk through the store and unroll that up. cable, rolling it up in the office, and me and my rescue lab, Sally, would uh, watch TV till it was time to go to bed, and then we'd get up next morning, took a shower in the grooming shower, and... Uh, well, You're ready for work. 16 years, though, it's taken a lot to put it together. Now, you have one heck of a business here now, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're fortunate now. We've been very blessed over the years, and, you know, we're where we are because of our customers who come visit us. And you got a little bit of everything. You got everything from fish to snakes to everything they need and everything else, right? Yeah, yeah. But I just want to say thanks for everybody. You heard that. You want them to keep coming, don't you? Oh, keep shopping? Uh, most definitely. I've okay. still got lots of bills to pay. And Oh, I did want to say one other thing. Yeah. Megan Hood, who's been here a couple yeah. of times, who's studying. At, she finished her boards. She passed her boards. Yeah. So she, she is officially a doctor right now. All right. We'll have her back on the show. Yes. All right. Thanks a lot. Go by and check out Tommy Coastline Pet Supply. More stuff coming up. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, coming up, uh, the Mellow Mushroom here in Myrtle Beach is hosting a Lunch of Love. Now, this is benefiting the Grand Strand Humane Society this Friday, February, uh, no, next Friday, February the 12th. And Ashley's here with us to talk about, you know, Mellow Mushroom does so much. They are a huge supporter of the Humane Society. It's definitely fabulous. They're right down the street from us. Um, lots of our staff members go there all the time just to eat lunch or have dinner. Um, but we love that they're willing to put this event on for us again and help us raise funds that way. Yeah. Oh, look at there. Hey, there's, there's a pretty, her mic's, all right, there's the little dog right here. We just brought a dog over. All right, now we got the dog in here. And there's some no, pictures we're looking at. But. Yeah, those are some of our adoptable dogs that will, if they're not, if they're not adopted yet, they will be at the event next Friday. All right, now y'all done this before. Have y'all, do y'all raise mm -hmm. a little money during this time and adopt some pets? Yeah, we do. We do. We re do really well. The last year it raised quite a bit of money for us. It's one of our bigger fundraisers. It's just $10 a person, but the food's so delicious. You have to eat lunch anyway. No reason not to go out and That's right. And the money and the money's going to help a uh, very worthwhile. So this and y'all have some pets there that people can adopt mm -hmm. while they come. Yep, yep. All the pets that just kind of roll across the screen, as long as they're still looking for homes, they'll they'll be there looking for homes, hoping to go for lunch. All right, let's see lunch. who we got over here. Can we see? Let's see. <laughs> this is Charles. He's a little little scared of his TV debut. Yeah, he is. Um, but he's a sweetheart. <laughs> he's about seven months old, a little beagle mix. So there's a lot of animals or pets right now that are waiting to be adopted. Yeah, we've got cats, dogs, small large what pretty much what you're looking for we can we can find someone to fit that all right mellow mushroom the lunch of love now this is next friday right next friday 12 to 3. 12 to 3 be there and help out it's going to be a great time we'll be back with a lot more and welcome back to carolina and company live all right now this is something amazing i love to see kids advancing in whatever sport they're looking for all right i got a kid with me now he's eight years old Jackson Chavis, his dad's here with us, Tony. And how about his mohawk? Now, that's what really excites me. I had a mohawk one time a long time ago. All right, now let me tell you a little bit about this kid. He's one of the South Carolina Youth Wrestling Association, rookie state freestyle, earned All-American <laughs> status, all of that in your weight division. That's pretty cool now, Jackson. Now, how did, why, did you want to, why did you want to get into wrestling? Um, because one day I was in my room yeah. He's playing my Xbox. Right. Then my mama came in. She said, do you want to sign up for wrestling? And I said, yeah, because I like to fight people a lot. <laughs> you do? Did you take your mom down that day? I thought you were going to tell me your mom walked in the room and you took her down. Then you were going to wrestling. No. Oh, okay. All right. But you, you really enjoyed this. Now, how long have you been doing this now? Um, I think when I was six years old. Yeah. I was, part of the, year. I was part of the Red Foxes. Yeah. Um, then I keep on changing to different teams. Wow, all right, Tony, that's got to make you feel pretty, you know, pretty proud of your son. Extremely dude. proud of him, Cecil, extremely proud of him. I mean, he's done a lot of stuff now. His coach over there at Hartsville High School where he's wrestling coach Michael Lynch, right? <laughs> exactly. And, and coach. He's, he's worked with him. We're showing some pictures now. And, uh, you know, this is, you know, back when I was in school, we had wrestling. Then they took it out and put it back in. Now, how long has wrestling been back in school? You know? Uh, back in Hartsville, I don't yeah. know. I know that this is Coach Lynch just um, took Hartsville to their sixth consecutive region championship. Wow, look at all those trophies, man. Yeah, that's when we were out in Atlanta at the Dixie Nationals, yeah. and he won All-American status out in Atlanta. All right, check out the ring. That's pretty exciting, and he's only eight <laughs> years old. Eight years old. So you want to continue in this field, I'm sure. Yeah. You do? What, what, is, what is your main goal? What do you want to um, do? Try to get to the um, state belt. Yeah. That's the big deal? Yep, and trying to get all the medals to form the state of South Carolina. Wow, that's pretty good. 
Now, if you get to all that, I know by that time you'll be able to take your daddy down. <laughs> Not yep. yet. Uh, Not yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you. Keep on working, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Tony, thank, thank you so you much for being on the show, buddy. We appreciate it, We buddy. appreciate it. All right, you check him out. You keep your eye on him. Follow Jackson because he's going to go big. I'm going to take him down before he leaves. I'm just kidding. Nope, we'll be not. right back. He don't think so. He said no. We'll be right back. And I was sure. I'm sorry. I hate that. But And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. They surprised me there when they came back. All right, we're talking about the 24th Annual Myrtle Beach Stampin' Postcard Show. It's uh, being held Saturday and Sunday at the Clarence Hotel and Conference Center. That's this Saturday, right? This right. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's free admission to everybody. And Don's with me now to talk a little bit about stamps and postcards. Okay. <laughs> now tell me a little bit about what all we expect to have there. Well, uh, we're going to have 11 dealers, and uh, we have uh, free admission, uh, free appraisals on anybody that uh, has a collection of uh, postcards or stamps that they want to appraise, see if they're worth anything, or even sell them to the dealers. Um, so uh, it's not an expensive thing until you sit down at the table and start to buy. <laughs> and start working on uh, it. But uh, the last four shows now, we've had over 300 in attendance each uh, show. So uh, it is uh, picking up, and we're getting a lot of vacationers that uh, plan their sh vacations around the show so they can come to the show. Well, it's something a lot of people started with. A lot of people start their kids on collecting stamps. Right. And that's a big deal. Well, it is, but uh, right now I think there's too many electronic gadgets that take their attention away from the stamps. <laughs> and uh, it's, a, it's a great hobby. It's really, it's, it's less than 200 years old because the first stamp as we know them was in 1840 from Great Britain. And uh, so we're approaching the 200th uh, birthday wow. in a few years. Now, some of these stamps out there, what can we find? How, how much money can we talk about? Well. Uh, from just pennies, uh, we give away free stamps to the children that oh, well, attend the good. show. Uh, all the way up to the ultimate now, which is the one cent uh, British key and a black on magenta. Yeah. Uh, it wow. sold at auction last year uh, to a, a man that designs shoes. And uh, usually the, the buyers are anonymous, but he paid $9.5 million dollars. Nine point five million for a one cent stamp. For a Woo. one cent stamp. Wow, Don, that's unbelievable. All right, tell them again where it's going to be and what time it starts. Uh, Clarion uh, Hotel and Conference Center down in Fantasy Harbor area. Uh, we're there from ten until five on Saturday, ten until four on Sunday. All right, go check it out. Twenty fourth annual Myrtle Beach Stamp and Postcard Show. All right, tomorrow is National Soup Day. Coming up, we got some people from the International Kitchen and Longs, and we've got soup on the show. We'll be right back. And welcome back. Tomorrow is National Soup Day, so don't forget, start early today, eat some soup, and tomorrow eat some soup, too. From International Kitchen, we got Mark and Pops with us. Thank you all for being. Thank you so much for we having me. We appreciate it. All right, we got three different soups here we're going to talk about. But first off, tell us a little bit about the International Kitchen at Long. Um, International Kitchen is a, a family-owned, operated Polish restaurant. Um, the inter name International stands for a uh, little bit of everything from, for everyone to American Cheeseburger to your authentic Polish items. Oh, really? So you got a little bit of everything. Yes, right, Pops, are you, are you doing most of the cooking? Yes, sir. You're doing it all? Yes, look like. <laughs> all right, now we got three different soups here. What kind do we have? Uh, this is wild rice, okay. creamy mushroom and chicken. Oh, that looks good. This is cabbage soup. Cabbage soup, all right. Yes, and, and this here? is split pea soup. Split pea soup. All right, now, how many soups do you all have on the menu every day? Actually, two depend from weather. It's colder than three. Oh, okay. That's always is my famous pico soup every uh -huh. day. All right, now y'all had a soup on y'all won at Market Common two years ago. Yes. It was the pickle, it was pickle the, soup. It was the yes. uh, pork yeah. pickle soup. Yes, y'all had that last year here. And it yeah, was, we no, everybody loved year. it. We actually yes. uh, we just uh, helped out Officer Eric with the polar plunge. And yeah. we did the pickle soup there uh, this past weekend. And, uh, well, that's good. Marcus and those do a great job. They yes. raised a lot of money for that, yes. too. Now, tell them where y'all located in Longs. I mean, Longs isn't that big a place, but you can tell them where you're located. We're located um, right off of uh, Highway 31, about 500 yards uh, um, past Highway 31. Just 20, past 31. 21, 26, Highway 9 All right. East. Now, how long International Kitchen been there? We've been in business for uh, right nine about years. nine years. Nine years? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, now, how long have you been in the country? 21. 21 years? Yes, sir. You love it in America? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> now, do you go down to the beach all the time and lay out in the sun? Having time. <laughs> uh, Mark, you do that probably. You go down to the beach once Yes, sir, a while. indeed. Yes, sir. Do you? Okay. Every Sunday. Well, I appreciate you bringing this. We're going to test out some soup here. International Kitchen, uh, located in Long, just off Highway 31, if you want to check it out. And this is, uh, tomorrow is National Soup Day. 
Hey, we're going to have some soup. Maddie's here. She's going to have some soup with me. Hey, we're going to have a lot of soup, and thank you guys so much for this. And uh, we're going to take a short break, and uh, we'll be right back, okay? Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks we so do appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We had a great show today. We thank you so much for watching every day. This show wants to promote everything happening in the PD and the Grand Strand area. We want you to cut us on when you want to find out what's going on, and that's what we try to do. National Soup Day tomorrow. So make sure you go out if you want to go up to International Kitchen up in Longs. Try it out because they have some great stuff up there, too. Uh, we've had a great time today. Hope to see you tomorrow right here as we get closer to the weekend. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you later.